All right, I don't know about you guys, but who just woke up to the greatest news of all time? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Spotify just released their Serato integration. So we're gonna, we're not even wasting a minute. We're gonna be installing this and checking this out. From what I know, you can't do stems yet, uh, but who cares, right? Spotify is what we all been waiting for. Uh, I've already canceled my title subscription, so I, I've paid them one month. Absolutely not worth it to mess around with title when we got Spotify. So I feel like I'm a little bit sick here for the first time in like years, but we're dropping this video right here, right now, because this is the biggest information we have ever seen. Let's go. All right, so for all of you guys who don't wake up by 8 a.m., here we go. Spotify is now supported in Serato DJ. Millions of songs ready when you are. The wait is over. Spotify is now supported in Serato 3.3.5. So pretty well, all you gotta do is have a premium Spotify. There's no upsell even. With Tidal, there's an upsell. With Apple Music, there's an upsell. With BeatSource, there's an upsell. With this, you're just paying for Spotify and you got it. No stems, unfortunately, but but I don't that doesn't even bother me at this point in time like anytime that I'm rocking Spotify anyways or like title when I had it it was just because I would get like weird requests or like to save time when you're building your wedding playlist like I'm just taking the playlist throwing it right into title and then it's all there you can sort it by BPM which is something you can't really do with Spotify either so it's just like the updates that you're able to do it really changes the game so make sure you go here you got to download the brand new Serato which we're gonna do right now let's get into it so I guess if you don't have this email right here just go to serato.com we're gonna come here uh, and right on the front page because they know how big of information this is you got the download Serato Pro 3.3.5 that's what we're gonna do we're gonna download it right here right now don't check my password you guys are thieves boom signed in download it throw it on my desktop and let's get this thing installed immediately and just while we're waiting for the downloads, let's check out the high performance specifications. Like it's not much, man. You need an i9-5000 series. Like these are old chips, man. Like I, I, don't, I forget which chip I'm on right now. I'm on like the 9700 and that's not even the newest chip. Um, and then for this, like I think I used to have a 13th gen. Either way, like these, these are not high specs. Everyone who's complaining about Serato doesn't work. Oh, it's always crashing and lagging. Like, if you want to be a DJ, you have to invest in your craft, right? 16 gig RAM, that's it. Like, 2 gig video memory, that's so low. Like, I get it if you're just out playing at home and you just want to mess around, but you are going to have to understand that it's probably not going to work well. For specs like this, this is so low. Like, you could buy this in a laptop for $500. I would never recommend getting a PC laptop anyways. You kind of really got to stick with a Mac if you're going laptop. But, like, my old computer that was 10 years old, I used to be able to stream, uh, record on OBS, record to YouTube, stream on YouTube, stream on Twitch, all at the same time, and I didn't have any lag or glitches, so it really comes down to spending money on your craft. Um, and right away, we got this open, so we're just gonna extract it. All right, boom, so we're good. Um, if you're on Mac, you are able, well, this is an official release anyway, so I would not be worried at all. I'm gonna be installing this on my working DJ laptop immediately, no problems, official release, like this ain't a beta or nothing we're good to go. So we're just going to install it. Um, with Mac, you are able to install multiple copies of Serato on your computer. Like if you did want to run the 4.0 beta uh, and run this one, you can do that. You can't do that on Windows, but like I, I wouldn't really recommend that anyways. You're just, you're asking for problems. So like on this computer here, I run betas no problem, but I'm not at gigs at all. On my gig computer, like I would not install anything but a, f a completely official Serato release because you cannot risk having it crash ever. All right, so we're good, installed, boom. Let's close this all out. All right, boom, so we're in. We're just gonna head right over here, library and display, boom, Spotify is there. Let's log in, agree. Open Serato DJ Pro. I feel like I'm already ready to go. How do you use Spotify streaming with Serato DJ Pro? Searching the library, I will show you guys this. Um, other than that, you're gonna just have your, your playlist. So let's check it out here. Uh, bang. Wow, that is crazy. They're actually giving you like pre-made 
playlist that you can mess around with that is so cool that is literally one of the coolest things i've ever seen I guess all of my music is starting to load in right now. I have a million playlists because I build all of my playlists, all of my crates in Spotify. So I will just give this a few minutes to load. It's obviously just loading everything up right here, right now. Um, and I will follow back up with you in a few minutes. But just to show you, like just loaded a track, it loaded up and boom, we're in. As easy as that, we're already in. That's crazy. That's insane. Something that I am noticing right off the hop, like that BPM is not correct. Um, I do know that like when I had title, none of the BPM, none of that info was pulled. So I'm not sure what this is pulling from. I'm definitely gonna reanalyze it. Like maybe let's drop in, hold ya, cause I know that one's wrong. Let's drop it here, analyze it. See if that changes a little bit. Tracks from streaming services will not be analyzed. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe a little bit of a glitch to start it out. Um, interesting, very interesting. But I'm, I'm, I'm still not going back to title. Like <laughs> there's no chance of me going back to title when this Spotify integration exists. So I'm gonna let all this load up, see kind of what happens. I do know that like Holdia is not 67 BPM. Like we're looking at 100 BPM here. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's like an easy 100, 105 BPM um, is definitely not 67 BPM. So that might mess up a few people out here, but like not enough for me to care at all. It does look like my library is, yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's starting to populate. Like here are all my, my playlists I just made yesterday, all for the wedding coming up. They're not loaded yet, but like here they are. And I, I cannot wait for this. This is absolutely insane. I am so hyped up right now. All right, boom. So I think everything's loaded up. I've checked a few things. We're not lagging anymore. Um, so we're in. But like these playlists are crazy. I don't really know a lot of these tracks at all. But um, it's just amazing to me that they're included. Like they just give them to you. Title didn't have this. Um, from what I know, Apple Music didn't have this. But like, this is crazy. I didn't even know like Spotify doesn't even have like a top 10 or anything. I know they have their like custom, custom for you playlist, um, which is like weird because they're, it says made for you as well. Like, so I don't know if it's pulling data that I've played. I definitely don't play any rave music, um, especially on Spotify. I don't play it myself, so I wouldn't be playing it on Spotify. I don't know where it's pulling this data from, but it's just to, like blowing my mind that it's even here. Um, and then the fact that we have all of our wedding playlists right here, absolutely killer. So like right here, Ray Charles, I'm going to assume this is not 200 BPM. Good to me. I can see how they just doubled the BPM, but it's, that's not right. Um, I don't think like it obviously it says it can't be analyzed. I don't know how you would change that. Uh, let's just put 99.5. So like it did allow me to change it. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work in the future. Not a big deal for me at all. Like the only time I'm kind of using Spotify anyways, especially cause you need Wi-Fi, is if I, I'm doing a request, right? Like if I'm searching out a song and I, I don't have it, like I need that, that K-pop, Demon Hunters, boom. It's all here, Golden, Soda Pop, bang. It's all here and go me, you do need to click this button. I'm gonna guess that this is already pulling from those playlists that over here. So they're already kind of loaded. Um, but if, now I gotta figure out a song that's not gonna be on here. Let me do like, uh, uh, what would be on here that I don't have? Chicago. It's even here, because <laughs> like, I got all this, and this is gonna be hard for me to find a song that I don't have. Uh, but maybe maybe six nine. I don't think I play any six nine. I'll have it on my Serato, but I won't have it. There we go. We don't have any six. 
So now what you're going to want to do here is boom, you're going to come here. Anytime you're searching, you got to make sure you hit the Spotify button, bang, type in six. Now we got all our six, nine is starting popping here. So it's literally that easy. It does take some time to load. Um, I've actually ran into a problem when I had title where I was like loading tracks and I'm hitting the stems because it was like for a grand entrance and nothing happened. It just kind of all died out. Stuff like that is going to happen, but you have to understand that you are online and streaming. And that's a reason why I've never recommended streaming ever before because glitches can happen in, in, in a second. Like, and when you're DJing live in a mix, a second really matters. So it's just not been something I've ever been able to recommend. Like I'm still not going to recommend anyone to come on here and use Spotify as their only source of music. Like where are the extended intros? Where are your DJ edits? Where are the short edits? Where are the radio edits? Like it does say that this one is explicit. Um, it doesn't explicitly say that, but that's what the E means. Um, where are the clean tracks? Where are everything else? Where are your intros? So it's not going to be perfect, but it is what it is. And this has just like changed the game for me. I'm really hyped on these playlists. Like I'm going to go through them, see if there's anything worth playing. Like I don't play any Italo disco, disco period. I don't really play. So you never know what it is. Like let's check that the hip hop. So they're giving you the rap caviar playlist. That's pretty cool. Um, this is what people listen to, right? This is what everyone listens to. They all listen to the same playlist and that's where the music comes from. And now you can just like sort it by BPM, even though the BPM is probably wrong. I don't know where this data came from that they put in here because like I can just look at them and see that are a bunch are wrong. Like this one, Gat, where was that? Like that's a 71 BPM track. I don't know why it's it's doubled up once again, but that's just like such a small little issue that if you're getting like, if this is what's messing you up, you got to go back to the basics. You got to start all over again and learn how to DJ properly. This is not ever going to be something that I rely on wholeheartedly, but this is something that like when it comes to my wedding coming up, like uh, let's go to our late dinner. There was some stuff on here that I just didn't have like, um, Clips of Rose and stuff. I didn't have these tracks. So, so I don't really play much of that Afro beats at all. Um, sorry, that was late dinner. I'm looking for late dance. Here we go. Like, this is a lot of like the Dom Dalla, all this tech house, which I got a lot of tech house, but I don't have the exact tracks that they wanted. Like the, these, uh, I, th I probably got Marinella, but I don't have Tra Tra. I don't got Milo. I don't do any Sophie Tucker. So there's a lot of tracks that I just don't have and I have no interest in, but this is a lot of the stuff that they gave me. So clearly this is their sound and I got to play the music that they love, right? Not what I love. I could play like my, my edits, but they don't know my edits, right? So th since they gave me all this music, I'm going to be playing a lot of their music like boost up. I never even got boost up because I, I just didn't really like it, but it's a huge track. Like it's a massive track that new victory. Um, lap Fred again, Skepta, huge track, not a track that I like, so I didn't download it, not a track that I would normally play, but right here, it's coming up at a wedding on Saturday, so I gotta have this track, and like Spotify came through in the nick of time with this, so if you guys learned anything from this video, please like, subscribe, I will see you on the next one, I am so hyped, I hope you are too.